A, catching a big blockbuster seems safe. But our investigators found crimes are common at local movie theaters. Investigator Sarah Buddison is here to tell us what she's found. We requested police reports from one dozen movie theaters around Northeast Ohio, and we received dozens of reports about all kinds of crimes. Thefts, robberies, assaults. We reviewed police reports from one dozen movie theaters around Northeast Ohio and found crime reports are common. The biggest problem, car break-ins. Well, you're inside the theater. Thieves have plenty of time to smash your window and grab what's inside your car. It's categorically different than when you run into 7-Eleven for a half gallon of milk. You're going to be in, you're going to be out. Here, they know that your car is going to be unattended for a while. Captain Guy Turner of the Westlake Police Department says the movie theater itself can also become a dangerous spot. Any place where you have a lot of people together, there, the potential for a problem exists. We did find police reports at or near theaters involving serious crimes. In April, at Regal Cinemas in Crocker Park in Westlake, a teen boy was accused of groping three people. In March of 2011, at Cedar Lee Theater in Cleveland Heights, a man reported his vehicle stolen from a parking lot. But most of the incidents reported to police were minor. At Regal Willoughby Commons, an officer stopped three kids trying to sneak into the theater. Police were also called to the theater when a man approached another moviegoer because he wouldn't stop coughing. <laughs> Today's Batman Massacre at a Colorado movie theater has many concerned about their safety at the cinema. But Turner says in spite of the tragedy and the number of police reports we found in Northeast Ohio, there's still little reason to be concerned about going to see a big blockbuster. If it's any indicator, I let my 14-year-old go to the movie theater here. I don't feel any compunction about allowing him to go there. For more information, go to Newsnet5.com. We've got a map to show you which theaters, police reports we reviewed. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.